This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Autumn. So finally the wait is over. I'm going to start uh, APM series. And today I'm going to cover how to install APM on. And uh, one second. Okay. Uh, so this particular uh, series, we will cover APM installation. Then we will see that, okay, what are the different uh, uh, features of APM? Then we will design the frameworks and everything. But before we start, guys, it's very important to know how to install APM on your operating system. So today I'm going to cover install APM on Mac OS. In the uh, next video, maybe I'll be covering install APM on Windows. So this particular video, all the Mac users, they can follow because APM installation is the one of the most trickiest and toughest part. And if you miss any small thing, then it's really difficult to debug that where exactly the problem, right? So follow all the steps one by one and uh, follow the same thing and try to install on your system properly, right? And hardly you will see that any proper blog or any uh, proper documentation or any video on YouTube that how to install APM on Mac OS with the latest APM version and the SDK manager, right? So this is something guys we have to know. So uh, let's start. So I'll do one thing that uh, uh, I'll keep uh, writing the things over there and different steps on this particular Word document. And then I'll uh, share this Word document with all of you in the description section. You can get the link, you can download and you can later on whenever you watch this video. Uh, later on, you can uh, follow the same steps over there, right? Perfect. So the first thing, guys, first we need to do that uh, in your system. Make sure that, okay, you have uh, Java JDK is available. That is 1.8 we have to download, okay? This is something very, very important to know. And uh, you know that how to check Java. So you have to go to your terminal and uh, one second. Let me close my door. Okay, so you simple write Java space hyphen uh, version. It will give you 1.8. If Java 1.8 is not available on your system, guys, please install it from Oracle website. Okay, so you know that how to install. I've already covered in Selenium. If you don't know, maybe I can give it you the link. You can download GDK from here. I'll just paste the link over here. So this is the link for this, okay? So uh, one second. Yeah. Okay. Second thing is that, what do you need to do? Uh, you have to, after installing Java, you have to check that, okay, Java is available or not, again on your console and terminal that, okay, Java JDK 1.8 should be displayed. After that, guys, you have to set up your java underscore home path okay in your environment variable okay on mac os and how to do that so on mac os for to do this thing what we have to do that uh, what you need to do after installing java jdk 1.8 you go to your mac os and then simple write this particular command one second let me just close this unnecessary commands yeah so what do you need to do you have to open your uh, bash profile so how to open your bash profile simple go to the home directory and from the home directory you can go to simple directly to the bash profile and press enter you will see that uh, java underscore home is available over here okay so java underscore home is available over here so how to set up you okay first you need to write this automatically okay for mac os java will be installed in this particular folder so you need to add these two lines okay in your bash profile so i'll do one thing i just copy paste these two lines over here right like this so this is your uh, set up the things with respect to java so make sure that okay these two things are available and when you have to check this java underscore home path this particular variable in your uh, console you can check i mean are you getting the exact path or not so how to check so let me get out of this bash profile 
simple write code at wq this and uh, simple write echo dollar and this is the variable name so this is the environment variable and echo means just printed on the console so you will see that make sure that okay you are getting this kind of path library java java virtual machines jdk 1.8 and whatever the version 144 or whatever dot jdk contents and home so make sure guys you are getting this exact path you are getting for java underscore home or you can do one thing directly you can write java underscore home is equal to this particular path this path also you can write it so i'm just writing for your reference this is the path you have to check okay so once this java part is uh, java part is done you again check okay uh, in your command that uh, java uh, space version and then you will get to know that okay yes the thing is there or not java is available or not so simple write java j small space hyphen version so it will give you what exactly the kind of version that you have with respect to java so this is the guys the first thing you have to you have to do it right so make sure that okay because in mac os we store all our uh, uh, environment variables in this particular file so make sure that okay you are updating your bash profile over here okay cool after this thing guys what you need to do once the java is done you have to install android studio okay so we will install android studio now and uh, this is the fourth step that install android studio so to install android studio what you need to do you need to get the url so i have this url with me i'll just give it to you one second let me get it from my desktop okay and this is the url you go to your any browser let's see i'll go to this particular browser and then paste it over there and then enter so here you will get the android uh, studio link download android studio for mac so it's around it's a very lengthy software and it will uh, it's around 1026 mb so i'll do one thing i'll show you how to do that so uh, i have already downloaded and uh, the latest version again i'm going to download in front of you guys please follow the same step after downloading what you need to do right so i'm just gonna click on it and uh, you just accept the license agreement and click on this uh, android studio for mac and then it will start downloading okay This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so guys, here you will see that okay, this DMG file is available. So I'll do one thing. I'll go to show in folder, and uh, here you will see that okay, DMG file is available, right? So you just need to double click on it, and uh, it will start downloading. I mean, it will start installing on your system. First, it is verifying that okay, uh, the Android Studio. So I'm already having one Android Studio. But it's okay if you don't have it will start downloading from the beginning and just do one thing that you just push this particular icon over there to applications folder and you go to your applications folder and uh, uh, I'm, I'm having already one android studio with me so i'll do one thing i'm just going to replace it so maybe my version is old so i'm just downloading the latest version so what exactly it is doing it is copying android studio to applications folder and uh, from there we will start installing it so let it complete it and uh, after that we will start so guys you have to follow the exact process make sure that okay you are downloading the latest version of android studio people who are uh, already having android studio on their system please uh, install it again okay the latest version after that what you need to do you just need to click on this android studio and uh, after completion of the installation you will see that it is verifying the android studio and it's saying that okay just click on open and when you open it you will see a couple of things okay so let it open and it's still verifying in the background and uh, okay it's launching android studio like this okay because i've already installed android studio with me so you, what you need to do guys after installing successfully android studio you have to 
okay make sure you are launching it properly with from uh, android studio icon over here inside the applications folder and then you just launch it and make sure that okay you are getting this android studio start a new android studio project and everything get it over here but while after installation what you need to do guys after the complete installation you just need to click on next 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 and click on license agreement and then click on finish and once these things are done you have to set up couple of environment variables for uh, android studio so what do you need to do i'll give you those environment variables again you have to go to your uh, vi bash profile open your bash profile and here you will see that okay uh, this is the export android studio you have to capture it okay and after that these two lines guys you have to add one is this and uh, i'll do one thing i'll give you these commands to you in okay this is the first thing and this is the second thing you have to use over here right and be careful don't change anything so this is what we are saying that okay export android uh, home is equal to this so by default it will be my <clears throat> my user in your case it will be a different user whatever the user name of your laptop of your system you have to use it so user the bean library android sdk and uh, after this you have to export the path <clears throat> that android home emulator android home for tools and android home for uh, tools and bin and for platform tools also you have to set up <coughs> sorry okay guys so these are the two uh, important things that you have to add as an environment variable one is for uh, okay uh, for android home and another is for these different tools platform tools android home and uh, for bin and tools okay so perfect so let me do one thing let me okay so once this is done these are the environment variables you have added so your environment variable it should look like this so one is android home another is for your uh, uh, okay for different tools of android and then then for java also you have to do it like this and once this is done you just save your bash profile simple right okay colon wq colon and came out of your bash profile and check it once again that a bash profile is updated with okay all the look i mean all the environment variables are not see okay, this is very very important to set up these environment variables then only your android studio will work otherwise you won't be able to do that so once this is done what you need to do after that let me just a minute yeah so this is the fourth step that okay install android studio and set up the environment variables after that i'll show you that uh, the fifth one you have to install homebrew okay so how will you install homebrew so to install homebrew you just need to put a command i'll give you that command let me just copy paste for you guys so simple put this particular command over here okay let me, yeah so this is the command guys that you have to do let me make it bold and uh, increase the font size okay so this command you have to execute over there in your okay on your terminal so i'll just copy this and go to your terminal came out of your bash profile okay clear the console and then paste it over there and a simple run don't change don't make any changes in your environment i mean in this particular uh, whatever the command i'm giving to you this is the command from their home to git repository it will try to capture i say that okay please return to continue or any other return to any other key to abort so i'm simple press return it means enter and then entering the password of your system and then it will start downloading homebrew so homebrew is very important to download some other softwares so make sure that okay homebrew is available on your system so let it execute and then uh, yep it's saying that okay for export yes and uh, it's now it's downloading some command line tools also for export so let it download so it takes some time every software every installation will take some time guys 
so you have to be very patient in that case sometime it takes uh, five ten minutes also and uh, then only to do that because in mac os a lot of uh, uh, services it has to check and for android uh, studio also to make it work to make emulator work everything make sure that okay everything is properly defined or not so let it install and then after that we will see what is the next step we have to do that This conference will now be recorded. Okay, so guys, you see that, okay, now this is done. And uh, you simply say that, okay, it's saying that, okay, run do help to get started and everything. So you can see that, okay, homebrew is available on my system now. After that, guys, what you need to do that, uh, you have to check it again that, okay, your uh, uh, Android home, okay, that environment variable that you have created, are we getting the correct value or not for that? So simple write echo once again and simple write android underscore home this variable that we have already set up <coughs> okay in the bash profile as an environment variable so make sure that okay you are getting like this you are getting this user naveen library android sdk okay in your case users whatever the name of your user on your laptop and library and android sdk make sure you are getting this thing okay so the next step is that you just check the Android uh, thing over there. So I'll just write this step in your Microsoft Word. So after installing Brew, you need to check this. So this is your sixth step. Yes. Okay. And make sure that, okay, you are getting this kind of thing. So let me write it for you as well. Right. Okay. After that, what you need to do? After that, guys, uh, Selenium, sorry, APM works on uh, Node server, so we have to download, okay, Node.js and NPM server on your system. So to do this thing, I'll give you one command. <clears throat> so first, you just quickly check that, okay, Node is available on your system or not. So in most of the Mac machine these days, Node is already available. So if you don't have Node, you just check first Node minus B and just check that, okay, yes, I'm having Node. This is a Node version I'm using. And the same thing you have to check for npm okay npm package npm minus v and i'm having 6.9.0 so you also check and make sure that okay node and npm is available on your system if node and npm is not available you can download directly from okay you can find out the command with the help of brew you can download the node and you can download the npm okay i'm not going to show you it's very simple you just search how to download node and npm with the help of brew command and that's it Okay, after that, uh, what you need to do, sometimes you are getting some messages that, okay, your brew is not updated. So you simply write brew update. Okay, this is a command that you have to update. And it's saying that, okay, brew is already up to date. And sometimes we see that, okay, if there is a new version of, uh, new version of node available in the market, right now, let's say I'm using version 12.1. Tomorrow we have 13.0. So you just need to write a uh, brew upgrade node. Okay, and whatever the latest version is available, it will try to do that. It's saying that, okay, it's already installed. 12.1.0 is the latest version, which is already installed. So in my system, the node is the latest one, right? So you just check on Google that, okay, how to install node with the help of brew command and how to install NPM with the help of brew. So first you need to install node and then you need to install npm it's very simple let me know if you have any issue with that okay so this is the thing that okay you have to check node and npm is available on your system so i'll simply write install node and npm and if you really want to check so first check node minus v and check npm minus v it will should give you the version and uh, if you need to update the node version you simply say that okay hey this is what you need to use uh, i'll write the comment brew update okay this is just to update the brew on mac and if you really want to use the latest version of node you really want to check simple write um, brew upgrade node this is the command that you have to use guys okay perfect now after this what after this 
uh, you need to install APM. So I'll simply write install <coughs> APM on terminal. So how to install APM? So to install APM, again, I'll go back to my uh, terminal and simple write with the help of NPM package you have to install. That's why this NPM is needed, guys. Right? So make sure NPM is available on your system. And NPM works on Node. So Node and NPM both should be available. So simple write NPM install <coughs> minus G. Minus G means the global. So minus G and uh, I'll simple write minus G and simple write APM. And then press enter. So this is the command, guys. So you have to use it. So let me copy this and then press enter. Okay, now you can see that okay, it's uh, getting downloaded and it's saying that okay, yes, APM 1.13, <coughs> sorry, 1.13 is already available because I've already installed APM on my system, so that's why it's done quickly. But in your case, this is the first time if you are downloading, it will, it might take one or two minutes to download and make sure that okay, uh, the thing is available on your system. APM, the latest version is available on your system. So this is a command. After that, you have to install APM, npm install minus G. Guys, you have to use minus G, right? So what do you need to do? Let me put this particular thing. npm install minus G to install APM. This is to install APM on terminal. Okay, so this is the thing. After that, what you need to do? Uh, the ninth step. After that, guys, you have to install one more uh, thing that is called npm npm install wd. This is your web driver agent, right? So you need to download WD also. So npm install WD. And one second, let me write it again. npm install WD. Okay, no spelling mistake, nothing. And then enter. And then it will start, okay, downloading and installing your uh, WD also. And you will see that some messages are coming. You can ignore these warnings. That is fine. Okay. So you will see that okay wd is available 1.1.2 so make sure that okay npm install wd is available after that what we need to do uh, okay after that guys uh, we need to run apm installation command is done and then one important thing uh, npm okay and let me write the step and then i'll explain to you what we need this is a 10th step Okay, so the tenth step is install cartridge. Okay, so install cartridge is uh, needed. So how will you install cartridge? So I'll give you this command for cartridge. Okay, and uh, this is the command device you have to use for cartridge. Put it in bold color, increase the font size. Okay, so this is the command that you have to enter. So you simply go to this and then enter your password and enter. So you say that okay, yeah, npm cartridge command is there, and uh, <clears throat> okay, you have to give the permission for okay to this particular location. Sometimes cartridge doesn't work without the permission, so you need cartridge permission. And after that, you need to install Catherine. So how to install? Simple write a brew install. One command is there. Let me check in my other system. Catherine, right? So guys, you have to be very careful while because you have to remember the sequence. Even I don't remember the sequence sometimes. So that's why I'm referring in my some other system. Okay, so brew install Catherine. So this is the command that you have to use. So just copy this after giving the permission so uh, go to your Microsoft Word and this is the first thing okay and uh, the B part I would say this is the command to install cartridge okay I'll do some formatting later 
and uh, let me go to the standard 12 okay okay so on the console we will see yes catheridge is uh, already installed and up to date <clears throat> okay because in my case catheridge is already available on my system so that's why it's not installing but in your case it will do some okay uh, installation and okay some stuff and then you will see that okay catheridge installed successfully or something like this you will see it over there so this is the next step after that what you need to do uh, you need to download guys webpack so okay so simple right npm with i minus g and the name is webpack so this is the thing small letter npm minus g npm i minus g webpack and then run it so it will install webpack also so let me copy this this is the next step so this is not selenium guy this is something different you have to learn all these things then only you will learn. okay then only you will be able to execute your script properly on okay on apm and uh, whenever you are getting a new machine please install follow the same process to install everything so you will see that okay the web webpack is also available after webpack what you need after webpack guys uh, <clears throat> okay so uh what you need to do you need to go to your home directory so simple write cd over here okay so simple write uh, cd and here what you need to do here you need to download apm desktop okay i'll tell you what do you mean by apm desktop and everything so for that you need apm uh, dmg file so whatever the latest apm version is available you have to download that so i'll give you one uh, url and uh, okay so this is the url one second i'll show you in the word document first so i've already created one document over here in the next okay in my previous um, some other laptop so i'm just referring that and just showing all the steps once again in front of you guys so guys this is the thing at the 12th number that uh, okay uh go to this particular link this is the link and uh, okay and you need to install apm desktop from here so the latest version of apm desktop is 15 days ago they released 1.130 and according to your system whatever it is uh, mac or windows or whatever okay so for windows guys IP, APM Windows, this is the thing you have to download, and for Mac, this is the thing we have to download for Mac machine. So I'll do one thing, I'm gonna download this. So you just click on it, it will start, it's around 146 MB. And uh, let it download, and then we will launch the APM desktop, okay? Okay, so let it come, and then let's see. Okay, so this is the zip file is done. I'll go to show in folder and uh, I'll simply do one thing that uh, simple unzip it. And the moment you unzip it, you just simple double click on it. It will start okay, unzipping it. And uh, it will be like this. Because it's a huge file around 150 MB or 140 MB it takes some time to unzip so once this is done you will see that okay apm i'm already having one apm so that's why i'm getting apm too so you will <clears throat> get this thing so you do one thing you just copy this apm and go to your applications and paste it over here like this right so one icon will be there and the next time whenever you have to launch apm you have to launch it from here okay so i'm right now i'm not launching it but this is a way you have to do it so this is uh, a <clears throat> okay the next step the next step is that you have to go to this particular site and go to and download the apm for mac mode. got it and put it inside your applications folder and that's it after that guys what we need to do uh you need to install this guy uh you need to install i'll tell you i'll just tell you this thing you need to install right okay 
some numbering they have to do. I think this is the 13th step. And uh, yeah, so this is lib iMobile device you have to download. And I'll tell you what is the command for that. You just need to write the command. Okay, brew install iMobile test. So I'll go to my terminal and then simple paste it over there. Brew install iMobile device. So this is the command, guys. You have to use it and let it be installed. And I'll write the command it for you guys. Okay. So this is the command. You have to use and you see on the console there's this is done so i'm already having this uh, uh lib i mobile device so you guys in your case it will take some time to install <clears throat> okay after that guys you have to install xcode okay this is very very important on mac machine for all the uh ios uh, simulators for ios uh, <clears throat> okay execution we need xcode so the next section is that 14th one install xcode how do you install xcode so to install the xcode you need to go to your app store so go to your app store uh, where is app store here go to your app store and make sure that okay you have to log in into your app store with your apple id and uh, here you need to click on develop and on develop, you will see. Okay, one second. Go to, or you can search the Xcode over here as well. Okay, like this, search for Xcode. And here you have download. So I'm already downloaded. So in your case, you will get, <clears throat> okay, one get option like this. Get option like this. You just need to click on it and then it's, uh, it will take around 30 to 40 minutes, guys. To download Xcode only. It's a very lengthy, it's more than one GB and a very lengthy software. Xcode is a development tool to gen, uh, to create the app for iOS. But for Selenium also, we uh, for APM also, we will be using it to execute our test cases on uh, okay on the iOS simulators, right? So we will create the simulators and everything over there, okay, with the help of Xcode. So make sure Xcode is available on your system. This is very very important. Right, so I'm just uh, okay. Writing one step, I've already showed you how to install Xcode from App Store. Right. Okay, so after that, what is the next thing? Next thing is that you have to install Authorize iOS. So how to install? So let me give you the command from this. And. Uh, let me write the step name. Install authorize iOS. Okay, authorize iOS. And what is the command? This is the command. Okay. Okay. So just use the same command and terminal and npm install minus z authorize iOS and uh, you will see that okay authorize iOS is getting installed. So this is something very important uh, to support the iOS application and authorize the iOS application. Okay. So after that guys what do you need to do? This is iOS authorize is done. After that you have to install one more thing iOS deploy. Okay, so the command is, I'll give you the command. Even sometimes, even I don't remember the command because there is no point to remember. You just need to always copy paste to always maintain this particular word document with you. So simple, this is the command, brew install. Okay, iOS deploy. So the next thing is this thing. And write it inside the word document also. Brew install iOS. So simple. This is for install iOS deploy with this command. Okay. And you're saying that okay, it's already up to date. In my system, <clears throat> in your case, it will 
quickly download the iOS deploy. Okay, so this is the thing. After that, uh, one more thing install iDevice installer. So, what is the command? So, this is the command, guys. You have to use it. Simple write this command brew install iDevice installer. Again, it's saying that okay, it's already installed and it's up to date. So, but in your case, again, it will start downloading and installing this IES <coughs> device installer. So, I'm just giving you the command. You just need to follow step by step. It's very simple, very straightforward. Okay. So, I'm saying that uh, install this iDevice installer. And the command name is this. This is the command. Okay. 17th number. So after this, what I device installer is done, and uh, then you have to uh, the debug proxy iOS installer also you have to download. So the next thing is that so in order to uh, web views on real devices and everything, this particular installation is needed actually, and this is the command. So yeah, brew install iOS WebKit debug proxy. So this is the thing guys you have to install. So it's again available on my system. So it's not going to download, not going to install once again. It's already up to date. But in your case, it will start. Okay, it will do a fresh installation. So install this guy on 18th number. iOS WebKit debug proxy. You have to use it. And uh, this is the command goes brew install. So everything we are downloading with the help of brew, right? So make sure brew is available on your system and brew is up to date. I've already shown you how to download from brew. Okay, so uh, this is the next thing. After that, let me check. Do we have anything else? Okay, after that, the last thing is that uh, you need to install APM doctor. APM doctor will check the health of APM that whatever the things are needed for uh, APM prerequisites or APM pre-installation, it will check that okay. With the help of APM doctor, we can check what are different things are missing or all the mandatory fields are available or not. Okay. So the next thing is uh, APM doctor we have to download. So how to npm simple npm install minus g minus g means globally not to the specific uh, location so that I can access it from anywhere and simple write APM. Okay, doctor. Guys, be careful with these commands. APM doctor and then enter. So it will start downloading APM doctor. Okay, so APM doctor is available on my system and after that I need to check the health of my APM that okay for APM everything is uh, there or not. So I'll do one thing just to check the health of APM. Uh, simple write one command. APM okay, doctor and then enter. So here it will check one by one that okay all the necessary necessary things are available or not. So it's saying that okay with the see it's saying that okay node.js binary was found. Node version is available. X code. Okay, maybe it's not available on this particular system. So it's saying X code is not instance installed. And apart from that, most of the things are available over here. Okay, so I need to check maybe some problem or maybe I have to upgrade the X code version. <clears throat> but if you downloaded X code, make sure that okay, it should be in green color. But if you see some something is like this that okay, this open nc 4js or ffmpj, it's in cross. But it's not in red color, so it's not compulsory. It's not mandatory to do that. But whatever we have installed so far, we have Java Home Path set properly, and uh, Xcode is not there. But fine. But Xcode command line tools are available. Uh, Node version is available. Node JS binary is available, and uh, Android is available. ADB is available. Java Home, Android Home is set to okay in your environment variable like this. So it will give you the complete health checkup. Okay, of your uh, <clears throat> okay, uh, of your APM server. Later on, maybe I can fix this problem. Note, okay, Xcode is not installed, so I can uninstall my Xcode and install it once again. And again, you hit your APM doctor. 
So whenever you see that, okay, some problem with your APM or something is missing, you hit this particular command, APM doctor. Make sure that, okay, APM doctor, we have already installed with the help of this npm install minus G APM doctor. And just check that, okay, all the required things are available over there. So this is the last step that we have to do it. So APM install APM doctor and after that run this command to check APM health. So what is that command? Simple write APM hyphen doctor. Okay. So guys, these are the 20 steps. Okay, just just for only uh uh, you know APM installation on Mac machine <coughs> Right on Mac machine guys, it's really difficult and it's really tricky. You should know what is the sequence You should know what are the different things you need to download. So that's why like uh, I You know, I always took some time Okay, first I need to collect all the documents. I mean collect all the information about the different commands and everything I have to uninstall everything from my system. I installed it I cross-checked it so that you guys should not be should not be able to face any issue with that right so make sure that okay you are following these 20 steps whatever I've explained over here and uh, I'm pretty much sure that okay if it is working everything is working fine then you can start working with it right and in the next session I'll tell you how to install okay on Windows machine and then we will start the stuff writing the code and everything in it Right, it's not like selenium that okay. Hey, just add the dependency of selenium and then <clears throat> start writing the code with the help of test change or selenium thing and all It's not that very straightforward APM installation is Very very tricky and guys this thing you have to remember Let's see you're going for interviews and you are they are giving you one coding assignment and they are giving you one laptop and they say that okay hey set up APM and uh, Launch this particular app and design the test cases or write the test cases if you are not aware about all these steps, then you are gone. Okay, so make sure that okay, please practice n number of times, learn these things, learn the sequence, and then you are good to go with APU. Okay, so I hope you will like this particular series and a uh, lot of new things, a lot of good things you will be covering. So keep watching Naveen Automation Labs and uh, okay, please practice and let me know if you have any issues. I'll be uploading this particular document in my Google Drive. The link will be shared over there in the description section so you can check it over there okay so take care guys and uh, keep learning and thanks for watching this video